Let's talk about hosting your own webcomic through Wix. We're not claiming this is the best platform, or even the best method. It's just what we use at the time this is being recorded. And it won't require you to get any plugins. Wix is expensive, so that's something you're going to want to keep in mind going forward. You'll need to create your account first. You should be prompted to make a website, but if not, you can manually navigate to that on the Wix dashboard. Just click on your profile picture. Navigate to your pages on the left side of your screen. Static pages allow a lot of individual customization, but Wix only allows you to have a hundred of these, and they can slow down your site. We have a static homepage, overall comic navigation page, and a few others. What we want for posting the comic itself is a dynamic page. Wix doesn't put a cap on these beyond the space you're paying for. Add a dynamic page. You'll see the option for more layouts. We like to use this custom option. Fill in the name of the comic you're uploading. Now you have your setup. Some of the things I'll show on screen are just aesthetic preference. Here's where you'll be managing your content going forward. I like to change these title names to letters to organize my uploads. I add another text field for the title that shows on the site. This is because Wix doesn't always sort the episodes properly. If you're doing consistent image updates like you would with a four panel comic, you can just add an image and call it a day. But if you have scrolling comics, you're probably going to have to try rich text content so you can post differing comic links and content. Just click this little plus and add the images here. After you add an image, be sure to adjust the settings. You can turn off downloads here. When it comes to how the overall page looks, you can add the title or even an image. You will still have to drag different elements onto the title pages. And if you're having problems finding the element you need, there's a handy search feature. You'll only have to get all of this set up once per comic. All dynamic title pages have the same setup. Make sure to connect all these images, buttons, and the like on the all page to the episodes on the title pages. Once you have things set up, it should be easy to add new episodes. Just add the item, fill in the fields, including the title it sorts by, thumbnail, site title, description if you want one for each episode, even audio. Add the comic images and make any necessary setting changes, then take a look at your site. This is how ours looks on the live site. And this is how the page will look in the editor before adding the images. Make sure you click on that little squiggly looking thing at the end of your menus when you click on something like a button to connect it to your CMS, aka your uploaded content. You'll want the previous button connected to the previous dynamic title page and the next button to the next page. Pretty straightforward, right? I tried to keep this video as quick and concise as I possibly could. I hope it was helpful. Until next time, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good.